Good evening, humans. Transformers Moth here, and tonight we're taking a look at the WWE Ultimate Edition Fan Takeover Rey Mysterio figure from Mattel. Let's do this. Aesthetically speaking, this figure looks great, and uh, honestly, just a lot of stuff we've seen from Rey Mysterio figures, and we have gotten a lot of Rey Mysterio figures over the years. Um, but, you know, it totally works. Not only that, I am highly partial to all red gear, so uh, I naturally was not, definitely not going to pass this up at being Rey Mysterio and all red gear. Uh, but beyond that, I mean, I think we've seen this head sculpt before, um, but very nicely done with the clean details and the tampos going on there on the head. We see the kind of Aztec skull there on the back with the star. Uh, you know, nice expression, really like the way they did the contacts. Definitely reads really well. See, we have the bottom strap here on the mask undone, and uh, that'll read into some of the accessories later. And uh, beyond that, like the proportions definitely look pretty good. A little weird at the shoulders. Um, I think that was the issue with the last uh, Ray Mysterio uh, Ultimate Edition as well. Uh, but still, I mean, I think it works. Uh, overall, I think just the very good presentation gear, again, is very, very basic, just all red. We get, again, that kind of Aztec skull with the uh, star and the X there on one leg. <clears throat> Pardon me, we get Ray on the other one. Uh, beyond that, just all red pants, again, sculpts we've seen before. Then we get these shoes here under the pants, and uh, yeah. Oh, and then, of course, we get the tattoos. We get this awesome back piece he has, with this kind of like tribal uh, spinal column and then you know, the sun and all that other all the other tattoos we are used to seeing so uh yeah really cool looking figure we'll load out of accessories here so let's jump right in and starting with hands we do get fists right out of the box then no requisite sea grips but we do get the kind of grasping slash grappling hands that we generally get with Rey Mysterio then we get we were going to move into heads and actually a tra good transition here is that we actually get hands that are attached to a head sculpt and this is really cool it's probably one of my favorites uh just uh, again seeing this accessory definitely sold me on this figure as well so we have the two hand pieces and you can see there that i guess is where our grips are and uh they're holding the mask and kind of pulling it on and that's just a really cool effect just really kind of you know neutral fa facial expression and then the hands there so uh, it is a little difficult getting them on, but it, because it's an ultimate edition, you can move the, the arms, put those in, and then plug your arms in. Um, but there's many different ways to get to go. It definitely has enough range to make that work. Then right out of the box, we do get the one we just looked at with the strap undone here at the bottom of the mask and kind of more of a smiling face. Pull that off, push that off rather. Uh, and then we just get a kind of kind of a neutral face with a little bit of a smile. Again, I think we've seen this face sculpt before, but uh, definitely very well done. And we get all those same details on the mask. Then we get the Cruiserweight Championship. Really like this belt. Very nicely done. Great details as usual. Nice and shiny gold. Then we get some attire. So we do get the Rey Mysterio shirt. A kind of t-shirt we've seen many many times before we get that symbol again on the back wwe here at the top and uh no velcro this time this just goes right over the top of the figure and finally we get a towel which is literally just a piece of white cloth <laughs> but it works uh, as you can see it does, definitely has that terry cloth, cloth look which is nice uh, i wouldn't pull it and kind of get crazy with it because it's not finished at the end edges but uh yeah still a nice piece and that will do it for accessories articulation and balance here are fantastic as you can see freestanding kicks no issues thanks to those nice wide feet slash pants just gives it a very strong base uh yeah that and the range of the articulation absolutely helps there as well so for the head we do have our barbell joint uh so can't really look up because the way it's seated and the way the just the, the room under the head unfortunately does not allow you to move too far uh, i do get some decent down some nice little bit of tilt side to side of course you get rotation we get really generous butterfly joints. We can see really good range there. Hidden swivel at the shoulders bring us to a perfect T. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbows bring us to there thanks to the elbow pads. <coughs> Pardon me. Now we get a hinge and swivel at the wrists, all horizontal. We get our ball joint at the diaphragm, and that is going to give us both that much crunch, nothing crazy. Uh, much better arch back and some side to side. And then we get some rotation there. We get a swivel at the waist, which actually isn't moving at all. There we go, swivel at the waist. 
we get our drop down hips, which again, they've definitely tightened up a little bit as they've kind of instituted this into the ultimate edition. Still don't think it's completely necessary, uh, but it does give us really nice front kick well past 90 gives us perfect splits. So beautiful. Um, setting those back in is always kind of annoying. Then we get thigh swivel, double jointed knees folding completely in half. And then for the feet, we're not going to get too much. Not really any point, not really any forward. Get that to focus. Uh, we do get a little bit of rotation. And then we get that little bit of a toe hinge. I don't even know why that's there, honestly. But uh, yeah, that'll do it for articulation. Getting into size comparisons, here he is with some other WWE figures. With some other wrestling lines. With some domestics. With some imports. With some monsters. Finally, with our articulated icons, Oni and yours truly in human form as a Valverse Action Force figure. So my final thoughts on the WWE Ultimate Edition Fan Takeover Rey Mysterio figure from Mattel is that this figure rules. Uh, you know, if you like Rey Mysterio, um, if you liked the last Rey Mysterio Ultimate, you're gonna find a lot to like here. Obviously, I like Red Gear, so this was just a instant buy for me. Um, I thought originally this was supposed to be an Amazon exclusive, and that's where it w went up initially, but then all of a sudden Ringside was like, oh hey, we have it in stock, so that's where I ordered it. <laughs> But uh, it, I think both links are still up and it might be still available in both places. So I'll try to provide both of those links in the description below for you to pick it up if you're interested. So that being said, I hope you found this review informative and somewhat entertaining. If you did, hope to see you back because I do multiple reviews a week of action figures related to tokusatsu, dinosaurs, monsters, pro wrestling, and more. So if any of that appeals to you, come back. Let's just escape the world for a while and talk about some nice plastic. And uh, really, at the end of the day, I just hope that you are well. I hope that all of your toy dreams come true. And most importantly, I hope that you and yours stay weird, Simians.